So this leaf here that he's getting out is called a capote, and that's a binder leaf. So you're gonna remove the stem and make it into two parts. So these are the leaves that are gonna hold everything together. And then there's three leaves that make the filler. And each leaf is going to be rolled individually <coughs> in a tubular fashion and then bunched all together. Oh, okay. So the three different leaves that will go into the cigar is Lijero for strength, Volaro for combustion to make sure the cigar burns properly, and then the Seiko for the aroma. Okay. So each cigar, in total there's five leaves in the five different types of leaves in the cigar, and each leaf has a very specific purpose. And the blending of the different leaves will also dip, you know, vary between the different brands of cigars and the different yeah. styles and types of cigars. So, you know, if you want something stronger, you would use more Lijero that adds the strength to it. Plus, basically, Lijero is your leaf that's going to really change the flavor in terms of strength. And then this is a little, it's a, a resin, it's actually a tree resin that is from Canada. It comes from some oh. shrubby style tree, which we don't really know what it is, we've been trying to figure it out. <laughs> and they import it in a powder form, they import it in Cuba. We've been trying to get it here and we end up having to get it back from Cuba when we need to get it here. So right. um, they, it's a powder form and then they add a little bit of water to it, it's all natural, um, Totally edible, everything. So, which which pieces of this? Figure this is there's a little pot of um, resin, so you can see sometimes he dabs his finger in right. it, and it's like a glue, and oh, that I will hold it everything there. sorted together. Right, the yeah. kind of like jelly looking. Yeah, substance. exactly. And so, what he's doing now is he's just finishing off. He put the wrapper leaf on. Yeah. So the wrapper leaf you can see is very different from all the other leaves. Yeah. It's a much thinner, larger leaf. Um, they work with it wet, like this towel is wet and he keeps it moist. Um, the wrapper leaves are grown under the cheesecloth in, in Cuba so that they, the sun is dispersed and they get a lot, uh, a lot uh, larger, the leaves, and then a lot uh, more malleable. Like this here, you can see how thin it is and how durable, like it, it's got a right. lot of flexibility and that will be the wrap, that's what goes on the outside of this cigar. Yeah, it's a little lighter too than yeah. the inside. And then but and the color will vary. It's a natural product, so the color will vary. So right. in, in Cuba, like when you open any box of cigars, you can see difference in color. Right. And that will come just naturally from the leaves. And it's a huge process for actually sorting for a color. Oh, okay. They have tables and they have people that just do it strictly by eye. And they have tables of tables where they like put all the cigars out and somebody is sitting there by eye color kind of coordinating them and then bunching them by color so that every box will be the same so color. Consistency yeah. So this is a torpedo that he's doing right now. Okay, so he's doing a variety of different kinds. We're going to do Robustos and Torpedoes. Okay, so, beautiful. Yeah.